Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Nargis. In this video, we will be looking for data validation. First, we should open Excel sheet or Excel page. And uh, today I want to show you data validation, number, text, length, error messages, input error, and drop down list. So from here, from first column, I have name. Suppose I want to put some uh, limitation in the text length. First, select this column. Go to data. Inside this data, we have data validation. And first option is data validation. And now you will get this box here. Any value. But in this arrow, open this page, this list. Uh, we want to uh, put some limitation in text length. Select this text length and from minimum and maximum. Minimum, suppose I want to select uh, 3 and maximum should be 6. And then OK. Whenever you type any name here, suppose I want to type a uh, name Ali. Enter. It's valid. And I want to type more than uh, six. Suppose we have a mat. Suppose one more. Ahmad, like this, and enter. Whenever you enter, you will get error message because it's more than six. Yeah, the value you entered is not valid. So you can retry and type suppose only Ahmad now it's valid it's text length restriction uh, and second one is age suppose I want to put some restriction here the students from uh, students should be between uh, 10 to 15 or 15 to 20 and how we can do that first select the column Go to data and then data validation. Open the first option. Here we have a whole number. Here select the whole number and then the minimum. What should be the minimum? Suppose 10. And the maximum should be 15. And then OK. Right now, if you type the age of a student at 10, enter it's valid 11 enter it's valid if if it's more than 15 suppose 16 and when you enter you will get the error message the value you entered is not valid you can retry and select 14 now it's valid and other one date suppose we have uh, that mission is open between uh, 15 days 20 20 days like this and we will put some restriction here maybe some uh, some teacher will make mistakes and select the column go to data and data validation here data validation inside this we have date select the date from which date suppose one one 2021 and end date should be suppose uh, fifth uh, fifth one 2021 between this date we have uh, that mission is open okay right now you just type any kind of date suppose uh, 1 23 2021 enter it's valid and if you type 2 24 2021 it's valid right now after fifth suppose 6 1 2021 it will be invalid see we will get the error the value we entered is not is not valid you can retry and you can type the correct one so this is the date limitation and now okay in country column 
suppose some countries will be repeated again and again and we want to put uh, data validation over there first select this uh, column go to data and then data validation from here we should select the list we want to make list which country suppose this is india comma australia australia comma and uh, usa these three uh, three countries will be repeated again and again so we just okay this now you will get this arrow whenever you click in uh, on that arrow you will get india and then you will get australia and the third one is suppose usa this is the uh, repeated countries or repeated the name of uh, something okay in drop down list suppose here we have a few countries india australia usa it's very easy to just type inside this data validation box but we have a big list of cities or big list of countries it's not it's not good it's not uh, easy to type each and every countries suppose like this go to data uh, select this one select this uh, column go to data validation open this data validation here inside this list you you cannot uh, just type each and every country's na country names or country's name there are many 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 countries name so what we can do just select this option and uh, just choose this list maybe it's a big table maybe it's a big list you just select this one and then come here and okay you will get yeah this option here suppose many uh, names are there you just uh, select which country or which city you want to type here okay this is drop down list now uh, at the last i wanted to tell you something else suppose in error messages or input errors in error messages when we get error messages here let me show you here uh, when we when we just type invalid number here suppose 17 when we ok we will get a message the value you entered is not valid and we don't know what exactly this error is saying so for that we can create my uh, create our own error messages and display it how we can do that go to data validation and inside this go to error alert and type the title or the title of that error what should be suppose it's wrong it it's it's wrong okay and error messages you should you should select numbers uh, between between 10 to 15 and then okay whenever you uh, type here 17 or 18 enter you will get the message first we type there it, it's wrong and the other one you should select numbers between 10 to 15 and then you can retry and make it suppose 10 and uh, make it 10 and enter so this is the error messages for input errors select this one go to data validation data validation here we have input messages input messages suppose we have here numbers and then inside these numbers we will type uh, kindly choose number between between 10 to 15 and then okay 
that's very nice option a nice uh, thing whenever you click uh, in any cell on any cell you will get this message numbers then quietly choose number between 10 to 15 this is the input error so i hope this uh, video is helpful for you today actually we discussed about the table edition number text length error messages input error and drop down list i think it's enough for today